So what attracted me mostly about her is how gorgeous, of course, she is, as you can see, but then also just how bubbly and just life, just filled with life, she's just happy, she's happy, she expresses herself, she says, she speaks her mind, she's just happy, bubbly, happy. <laughs> and what attracted me most about him was how handsome he is, <laughs> and so funny, always, always making me laugh. <laughs> And he was very strong-willed, uh, unwavering, knew exactly what he wanted to get out of life. But then, the very thing that attracted me to her, the happiness, the bubbliness, just, just how she spoke her mind all the time, then that started to just irritate me a little bit. Yeah, and the same thing, um, you know, his seriousness and unwavering and just so kind of uptight at times <laughs> would just drive me crazy. And then the little irritation and the little stuff grew into some serious stuff and then bitterness and then just felt like there was this dark cloud all over us in our home and we just became more and more angry with each other. Came to a point where we didn't even think we were gonna make it. We started believing these lies. I know I believed a lie that we were not compatible, we were never meant to be together. It was just, I mean, it became crazy. Crazy nights, at times we'd fight all through the night, like literally just craziness, like, like, how does this person I love so much all of a sudden became like an enemy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we didn't learn how to fight well. We didn't know how to handle it. We didn't know what to do. Um, we knew we loved each other, but those very things that drew us together were pushing us apart because we didn't know how to, com how to let them complement each other. Yep. Yeah. But then I remember the day when I looked her in the eye and said, you know what? I'm done saying it's over. It's over saying it's over. We're going to make this work and God's going to use us to impact other people yeah. and to impact relationships. And from that day on, we decided to stick it in, to pray. We decided to pray together every single day. Mm -hmm. And then God started teaching us some secrets of relationships. So we're asking you, what's your relationship status? Mm -hmm. Is it healthy? What's the thermometer on it? How are your relationships? We want to talk about that and talk about secrets that will be able to help you through your relationships. So we're so excited because this Sunday we get to stand together, share from our personal stories. We might make you blush a little bit. It's going to be real. It's going to be personal. But we're going to study some secrets to healthy and successful relationships. It's going to be a blessing. And we're not just talking about marriage relationships. We're talking about your relationships with your parents, your siblings, your boss, your coworkers. We're going to study in relationships. And together, we're going to become victorious in our relationships the way God has intended for us to be. It's going to be a great time. We look forward to seeing you. God bless you. You once said, I hate you. Thank you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> well, when a woman doesn't feel loved, she says that. <laughs> okay.